Hi, I'm Trin Johnson and welcome to Dust in My Eye. I am working on World Watercolor Month and today's prompt is envelope. It could be envelope. I'm going with envelope as in the fog that envelops the mountainside. Um, and I took this picture just a few weeks ago in uh, on the way back from Concon in um, Chile to Santiago. And that is what I'm going to paint today for this prompt. And I'm going to take you along with me. So I'm going to start with the um, mountaintop, not the mountaintop, the cloud. And I don't care if it's exactly what's on there. I just want to get a sense of cloud. Um, I'm rarely wetted unless I'm painting the clouds for the clouds I don't mind if they're nothing like the clouds in the in the photo because that's um, not that important to me in in this instance if I was painting clouds and that was the whole point of the exercise that would be different now I will say that these clouds are kind of important because that was the kind of day it was was um, the kind of day where there were all sorts of interesting clouds um, because it was foggy and it was the mist and the fog rolling in um, which was extremely unusual weather that we were having for the area. So I just want to get like a kind of a rough and tumble sky going on here. And I think that's what I've got. So, all right, then we're going to get some dark going for the trees. I want a really uh, very, very dark green because they're almost, almost black, these trees. And uh, I want them just sticking up off the top. So I would like to have this area that the trees are coming out from under or coming out from be wet where the fog is. how I'm going to try and do this. And then I'm going to paint the treetops above it using the point of my brush. I like the way we've got the fog going. I do use a little um, tissue
that kind of cloudy look here. Want any um, hard lines in this part? Okay. Now, while that's drying, because I don't want the next part to bump into it, I am going to do the front light green part. I do not um, care about the buildings in this painting. I am just working on landscape here. Um, so I just want to get the base of this hill. And then I'm going to put trees in front of that. So, and the rest of it is really a lot of uh, layering of trees. The next section is maybe not quite as dark as the last section. So let's lighten it up just a little, maybe. And we're going to try and come in to this area here. There is a, a little bit of a, I can't, it's really light, a little bit of a, um, a chair too, that we want to make sure we get. get in there with tissue. So you can still see where it continues. Okay, and then in front of that, it's dark again. So let's just get that part in. Not gonna worry about layers and layers of trees.
Just let the paint do the work. Okay. And then in front, I have this. It's a lighter green, but it also um, has, it's in the shadow a lot. So uh, we're going to do a little bit lighter green and then uh, come in with some dark on top of it. But I need to let this layer dry here so I don't bump into it. I'm going to hit it with a hair dryer and speed this process up a little bit. Okay. Over here, I'm going to just add some uh, in front foliage, foil, foil, foliage, trees. <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and put them over here, although they're probably going to get way darker over here. Because this part was is way darker. But this makes it a little different. Um, I like to tailor that back so it's not quite so green. A little blue in there. I like to add a little... Um, is it turquoise color um, to my green, my light green, make it a little softer. Um, now I'm going to add some shadow in front. Here it's, it's more shadowed throughout. We're just kind of making this up a little bit because I don't want the whole house scene and all that. I want I just want it quicker. I took this picture out the car window as we were driving back to Santiago. So it um, it was about the fog and the mist. They got more rain there than than uh, is normal than my sunset he'd seen since he moved there and he's been there about three years in the week that we got there <laughs> things were flooded it was it was crazy um <clears throat> in fact this road that we were on when we took this picture on the way back wasn't we couldn't even take it on the way out of the city because it was flooded um in one spot so it's very different from the norm. Okay, that kind of bled in there, but again, not really wetted. What I want is, I want it to be interesting. Not necessarily um, exact <laughs> things that are Exact aren't always interesting, and things that are more interesting aren't necessarily exact. I do think I'm probably going to have to use white to sign my name and put the date on this one, though, because it seems that way. I still would like to get some more interest in that. So I'm going to do a little um, calligraphy, I think they call it. Okay, so I am going to sign my name, put the date and the prompt on it once it's dry. Okay, it's dry now, and I'm just going to sign my name and get the date and the prompt in here. This was enveloped. And it was seven nineteen twenty twenty two. 
2023. So I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope you come back and check out my channel again. Um, if you'd like to see more, subscribe um, and hit the like button. And if you want to be notified, hit that little bell. And you'll know when I have another video coming out. You can buy me a coffee. That's a new thing. Um, also, you can check out my Etsy shop where I have prints of my artwork and my cute little monsters for sale. And I appreciate your being here and thanks for watching.